But at the end of the day, as they say, uh, photography is a very, as I know you would agree, a, an entirely personal, yeah. private expression that you engage with. Yeah. And in, in a way, what you and I want so passionately is for people to see that the camera is a wonderful creative device and not just a recording tool. And yes. when people make that leap and think, oh my gosh, I can make giant statements yes. about me and my response to my world around me with this wonderful thing called yeah. a camera, then they can really fly. Yeah. It's the technical thing. I often say to people, if you could just learn the relationship between you know, clutch and gear stick yes. and brake and accelerate yeah. it and just like you do. Do you remember yeah. changing gear on your way to this thing? Well, no, I don't. No. Exactly. Yeah. Get fluent with your camera and then yeah. you can take off. Yeah. And I think that's that matters, don't yeah. you think? As think opposed to the P for program. Yeah, oh, I always use P not for professional. Yes, oh, that's right. <laughs> but on the other hand, it's not too cruel. For people who are starting out, no. oh, I know I shouldn't use P. Yeah. It does secure you an exposure. It, it does secure More an exposure. But using you know the exposure compensation, you've still got a lot of control. You have, um, yeah. and it's having the confidence to employ, employ that. I mean, a lot of the beginners' classes I do, I I take them through, sort of into aperture priority, yes. and then talk to them about you know a little bit of extra control. Yes, and then it's a very short step to going fully manual if they sure. want to. Sure. Sure. Um, and then you've got, you know, all the mirrorless cameras now. You see the exposure you're getting on the screen as you're taking it. Marvelous. Which I think opens the world of photography up to a whole new level of photographer. Yes. You know, those people who are purely iPhone photographers can now have a, a slightly better quality image, but approach it in the same way. You, yes. Know? Yes. Um, you know, go by feel, go by what it looks like. And then. Yes almost reverse engineer the learning process. You yes. see the image and then you work out what you've done. Yes. You know, why have you got black shadows? Because it's underexposed. Why yes. have you, you know, why the height? You can see it all. And, yes. Um, and I think that's, that's quite, it's quite a wonderful Gosh. development. Yes. Um, Never possible. Before. Extraordinary. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I made the mistake, and it was a mistake, of picking up an old um, SLR and looking through the uh, through the viewfinder and thinking, wow, that image looks nice. Taking the picture, and I'd actually, I actually forgot to even look at all the exposure. And it was only when I got the roll of film back, I realised what I'd done. <laughs> of course. Because I use a mirrorless camera, of and course. I see what I'm getting in the view. And I completely, my brain had switched off to all the stuff that I know yes, about exposure yes. because I'm so used to seeing what I want. Yes, yes. So it was quite, it was That's quite funny. Quite a, it made me, a it made me laugh. <laughs> it yeah. was really, I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah. I've not done that for a long time. <laughs>